It might seem hard to bring Betty White, Spider-Man, gourmet pizza, craft beer, and children all together under one roof. But Medfield's Seventh Wave Brewing has done just that. It's become our hang spot on Fridays after school. It's one of the only locations in Medfield that's very children friendly and also adult friendly. Brooke Thornton says she and her friends can enjoy dinner here and so can all their children. Well, I like their double IPAs. They make them all in house and they have great names for all of them and great branding. Yep. And they also have really good pizza. <laughs> for the team at Seventh Wave Brewing, each half of that classic combo, beer and pizza, is treated with care and creativity. Here I have a lot of creative freedom, uh, everything from grain to glass. So sourcing raw material to the recipe development to the actual production of the beer to the finished product pouring it at the bar. Brian Flock is head brewer and he's busy. We'll probably do 30 unique beers in a year. We brew everything from light lagers to imperial stouts. Lots of hazy New England IPA and pale ales, uh, some fruited sours, really a little bit of everything. All that variety means Flock and taproom manager Rich Morris have to get imaginative with branding. We spent a lot of time doing our due diligence to try to find a name that is fun, creative, and no one's used before, and it becomes harder and harder. They're mostly pop culture references, whether it's music, movies, comic books. We've got everything from Betty White to some Marvel Comics-inspired cans, E.T., The Matrix. To go with this ever-changing tap list, 7th Wave Brewing is serving up artisanal pizza. My pizza is a classic Neapolitan pizza. The crust should be soft with a little teeny bit of crunch. David Strymish is the brewery's owner and a perfectionist when it comes to his pizza. We're always coming up with little things. Last week I figured out a different way to make the fig prosciutto pizza. He found his way to the world of food through his family's former business, the New England Mobile Book Fair. There, he started and ran a mail-order division devoted to food books. Strymish and his family sold the company in 2011. I always wanted to make something. I started out as the brewer, and that didn't work out very well. So then I started making pizza, and that has turned out pretty well. At a Cambridge establishment, summer's bounty of fresh ingredients doesn't just inspire the food. The cocktails are infused with the season as well. At Harvest, the menu is very farm to table. We like to get as local as possible, work with local farms, work with farmer's market. The cocktails are in that similar vein. Beverage director Ben Chesna crafts the drink experience at Harvest and its three sister restaurants. He says there are a few trends influencing what he's mixing up for the summer heat. I'm going to make a brattle in bloom. It is a twist on a spritz. Chesna says two current trends show up here, a lower alcohol level and floral flavors. It's low ABV, so you can have a few of them and you don't feel too bad. And it also has an element of florality. We make a hibiscus syrup with uh, tea and it really brightens it and lifts the aromatics. Harvest is also designing drinks with teetotalers in mind. The no buzz bees knees is a zero proof twist on the classic drink. I think that people still wanna go out, they still wanna have a good time. They still want to have a drink that can pair with food or is interesting and tastes very put together, but they don't always want to get fuzzy. Finally, Chesna says it's not a coincidence that most people choose a margarita over a Manhattan come summertime. And the same element that produce is seasonal, spirits are seasonal. So in the winter, we see a lot of people gravitating towards scotch and whiskey, and in the summer, agave spirits come up. He's using mezcal, made from agave, in the Tio Rico. It combines guava, habanero syrup, and a little lime. It's spicy. I'd, I'd say it's about a 6 out of 10. You have to enjoy spicy to like this drink because the mezcal itself has a smoky element. And with the spice, it's a very assertive cocktail. But for those people who do like it, it's, it's delicious. And if you'd like to try your hand at creating your own summer cocktail, Ben recommends looking to your garden for inspiration. Try adding herbs such as basil, mint, rosemary, and thyme to drinks that you already like, or swap out one citrus juice for another, like using grapefruit instead of lemon. 
Coming up, inspired by a passion, the flavors of home.